And let's inhale the tune in. Om Namo Guru Te Namo Om Jugad Gure Name, Sat Gure Name, Siri Guru De Ve Name, On Gure Name, Jugad Gure Name, Sat Gure Name, Siri Guru De Ve Name, On Gure Name, Jugad Gure Name, Sat Gure Name, Siri Guru De Ve Name. And the sacred breath of life to pray in gratitude with and for your life and all you want to continue, all that's good, all that you have, all that you are, focusing on the positives, giving thanks, praise to yourself and your life. Inhale more and let the breath go. And we'll start with Sitali Pranayama, making a U shape of the tongue and sticking it out. Sipping, sucking the breath in. And you exhale through the nose. And nice posture, please. I want to awaken Shashumna, the central channel flow. And practicing pratyahara, withdrawing your senses inside, closing the eyes, like you're drinking the breath, filling the lungs, filling the navel, filling the diaphragm, expanding the ribs and the torso and spine. Hands are invited to be in Gyan Mudra or in your lap or any meditative posture, Mudra. And you're not doing this breath automatically, you're breathing consciously. So we're sticking the tongue out, like, like making a straw of the tongue and inhaling through the curl of the tongue and then exhaling through the nose conscious of every particle of air, metaphorically. This is a relaxing parasympathetic breath, soothing the nervous system, soothing the body and mind. And also cooling for on a hot day. The body system gets overheated, overstimulated, and agitated with prolonged heat during the summertime. So this is a necessary, simple pranayama to have in your toolkit this time of year. And what's really cool about it is it comes from a Kriya book hundreds or even thousands of years ago. And I'll just read the scripture of this pranayama. 
After drawing in the breath through the tongue, wisely exhale through both nostrils. This is called sitali and causes the removal of diseases, fever, thirst, and poisons of the body and mind. Drawing on the breath longer, fuller, deeper, slower. Letting the breath breathe you. Pranayama, controlling your energy. Thereby controlling your mind with the breath. If you find the mind is overly distracted, you can inhale the silent sound soft truth and exhaling non identity reality and then the deeper you go to your subconscious and unconscious mind body then the more you can just let that energy think for you and bypass the conscious mind just experience the feelings and sensations of your energy, the mind-body connection. Go for a few more minutes here. A relaxed but upright posture, very important. Heart is lifted, shoulders are back, chin is in, and you're just doing this breath, sipping through the tongue like a straw, Exhaling through the nose. Nothing to do, nowhere to go. Be present here and now. Everything is happening within you. Your consciousness, your energy. Own it, be responsible, and meditate. Be still, go inside. You can still be fully aware of the environment, the air on your skin, the temperature of the room, the sounds on the street outside, anything at all, embrace, allow, without being distracted or resisting. Surrender, relax deeper into yourself, soothing, calming the nervous system. Last two cycles of breathing. Be entirely conscious of nothing but your body breath presence.
Take a great big sip of the breath through your curled tongue. Suspend the breath for just a moment, floating buoyantly with this prana. And then when you're ready, calmly exhale through the nose. And then simply relax the breath, relax yourself. Try to continue being still, but if you do need to move, move slowly and meditatively, keeping your eyes closed for a few more cycles of just a normal breathing pattern now, through both nostrils in and out. Exhale, pretty good. Hello. Let's bring our hands to our knees now, and we'll begin warming up the body. Sufi grind, everyone's favorite warm up. Using the hands of the knees for leverage, circling the hips, circling the pelvic floor, grinding the base of the spine down through the earth. It's all in the navel here. Breathe, fill your belly. Listen to your breath, body, listen to a mantra if you need to, inhaling the silent thought, sat, truth, exhaling nam, identity. Just churning the lower spine here and then beginning to get your heart involved. The mid spine, torso. And then the head is kind of stabilized. Chin is drawn in. Full circles, over, around, back, under, rounding. And be free to explore, faster, slower, further out, closer in, deeper breathing, and then moving freely, wildly. A few more cycles this direction. opening the breath and body together. Inhale, fill the lungs, pause. Switch directions, exhale completely. Continue rotating in the opposite way. And loosening up the hips, the shoulders, the side body. Summoning your heart, spirit, and consciousness to be here now this breath, this body, this moment, hour and a half of class. Last two cycles. And come to the center. Inhale. Fill the lungs, fill the belly, suspend the breath, and apply the mula bandha, toning the perineum, drawing the navel into the spine. It's as though you're holding or going to the bathroom or applying a kegel. Inhale, tone the perineum a little more. Squeeze the base. Inhale more. Exhale, release. Flip the palms over. We'll just take a couple breaths here, deep ones. Gazing at the third eye, tip of the tongue resting atop the roof of the mouth. Inhale, grow the body, expand, fill the lungs. Nice, exhale, release, keep the spine tall. Hands to the shins, spinal flex, just above the ankles, 
hands holding the shins for leverage. Inhale, forward the belly, up through the heart. Exhale, release and round back. Inhaling, sat. Exhaling, nam. Quick warm-up series here, and then we'll get to the Kriya. Moving stuck, stagnant, discordant energies that are self-sabotaging in these three lower chakras, transforming those energies to circulate and balance with the other chakras. A few more cycles. Alchemical elemental work here, the breath, the blood, the fire, the body, the earth. Exhale, round the spine back, all the breath out. Nice, inhale forward. And apply Mula Bandha, honing in at the lower three chakras and drawing them up and in, gazing at your third eye, Raising energy through the bridge of the heart. Inhale more. Exhale, release. Inhale. Exhale. And let's stretch our legs out and wide. Shake them out and point and flex the toes. Rotate the ankles. And then this nice V shape, arms hugging the ears. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, hinge, hinge at the hips. Bring a hand to either foot. Inhale, up, turn to either side. Exhale, fold. Inhale, back up, turn to the opposite side. Exhale. Breathing from the soles of the feet through the legs. And if you're holding the shins, it's just as well, but keep the hands stationary there. And pulling yourself down, hips, heart, and then the head. So you keep an alignment in the spine, the heart is forward, the shoulders are back. And the movement is coming from the abdomen. Turning to either side. Sat Nam. A few more cycles. Inhale, arise. Suspend the breath. Apply the root lock. Rectum, the sex organ, and the navel contracted. Inhale more. Exhale, release. And let's bring the legs together. And we'll go through that same motion. First, let's inhale, stretch up. And then again at the hips, begin to hinge slowly, reaching for the feet. But if you're holding the ankles or shins just as well, bring the hands down there, grab firmly, holding. Inhale, up position. Exhale, bend the elbows, bring yourself down. Inhale, back up. Exhale, down, bouncing buoyantly, joyfully, as you circulate the prana, the breath, soles of the feet to the hips, hips to the head, and even from the fingers to the heart, full embodied circulation. Your breath and your awareness through your bloodstream. Feel yourself 
sense and experience yourself. Sat Nam, true name. I am an instrument of truth. That's my truth. It's your truth. It's your personal inner truth. A few more cycles. Stretch a little further, breathe a little deeper. Inhale, rise up. Suspend the breath. Again, tone the perineum, navel the spine. Root lock, move on. Inhale more. Exhale, release. Shake out the legs, point and flex the toes, rotate the ankles. Mm -hmm. And let's come, let's come sitting cross-legged. Back in Sukhasana. Hands to the shoulders, fingers in the front, thumbs in the back. Feel yourself nicely seated, rooted at the base, in the hips, knees close to the floor, best you can. Looks good. That's better, Alex, yeah. Inhale, twist left, exhale, twist right. Sat, nam. Don't open your heart too much now, <laughs> or do. But uh, you have to be responsible for your energy, and your healing. This is a very clearing exercise. So when we clear, things arise because they're coming up to be released. And the key is to not react, but rather to take action and respond responsibly. The ability to respond. And ability is another translation of the word shakti, power, the kundalini, the energy at the base of the spine that is the source of the energy of our being, our life. Shakti, it's also in the yogi, yogic philosophy, it's maya, because our, um, our energy, our shakti has been um, outsourced, and we've given our energy and our power away. That's why yogis close their eyes, go to solitary places where the world isn't calling for attention and energy. So just taking this time now, tuning in, breathing in, moving your energy, freeing it up. Last few cycles. Open the lungs, open the ribs, open the heart. Elbows wide, shoulders wide. Exhale. Inhale, facing forward. Begin to exhale as you apply Uddiyana Band. So now you're drawing the belly in as you exhale, and then you're sucking in the ribs, you're raising the diaphragm in the heart, and you're sucking in the throat, squeezing the spine and squeezing the ribs. Uddiyana Band. Inhale. We're gonna try that twice again, or let's exhale and just relax. <laughs> Hands in Gyan Mudra, palms facing up. Long deep breathing with a new breath of life, new more open chest and diaphragm. Doesn't take much. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. And begin turning the head, inhaling left, exhaling right, just for a little bit here. Working our throat center now. This should be purification. So breathing a very clear breath, clearing the throat channel. And switch the breath, inhale to the right, exhale to the left.
Inhale, center. Drop the right ear to the right shoulder. Exhale, bringing the head down, chin to the chest. And completing the exhale as the left ear arrives at the left shoulder. And then inhaling as you open the head and throw uh, neck back. Right ear to the right shoulder, again, beginning the exhale down and around. Few more cycles this direction. Work out the neck, head on a swivel. Go through all those crunches, mineral deposits being cracked open, release. I can hear mine. Can you guys hear yours? Yeah. <laughs> what? Our body talks, yeah? Especially as we get older. <laughs> okay. Exhale the chin to the chest and switch the direction. Breathing Satanam. Few more cycles, deepening the breath, perhaps the stretch, really honing in at your inner truth, the lightness of the mind and breath, not the darkness of the egoic thoughts or the negative thoughts. Exhale, chin to the chest. Inhale, slowly raise the head. Applying the neck block, chin in, shoulders back, heart forward. Exhale, palms down now atop the, uh, atop the knees. Inhale, shrug the shoulders up. Exhale, let go with gravity. Inhale, sup. Exhale, nam. A little bit longer. Inhale, squeeze up, exhale, let go. Every breath, letting go. Bringing in, squeezing, exhaling, releasing. Letting go of stress, pressure, weight, heaviness. Last few. Inhale, squeeze the shoulders up, hug the our hands over the elbows, really raise the torso, raise the shoulders. Inhale more, exhale, roll the shoulders out, back, down, forward and up. Shoulder rolls. We'll go one direction and then we'll switch. Connect the movement with the breath. Feel the scapula, upper back, angel wings. We can get those aligned with the back and with the upper chest. It's like you have angel wings, your heart, bird wings. You can fly free, spirited, connected to your inner truth, inner soul, light, love of the heart center.
like a hummingbird. High frequency of the heart. Do a few more in this direction and then switch. Holy breathe. Switch the directions. Last few. We'll roll out far and wide. And inhale, squeeze the shoulders up. Exhale, let them go. Let go, let go, let go, let go. Bring the hands to Gyan Mudra. And still in that spirit of just letting go, allowing, surrendering, being humble to the inner relationship you've cultivated in uh, 33 minutes of class, of remaining connected to the body and breath, attentive, two eyes focused up and into the brow point, third eye center, tip of the tongue, roof of the mouth, and all the foundations of your posture, navel, diaphragmatic breathing, effortlessly, just, it's simple, be aligned, be natural, breathe, be. A few more cycles of breath. Allowing your experience, allowing your experience of yourself. And please remain meditative, listening deeply, Sunye. And I'll share the comments for the Kriya, the practice we're going to share. Um, it's Sat Kriya Workout. <laughs> okay, I don't want to um, give you guys an impression of it, but it's a workout. I'll say that much. It, it says it already. The comments, so now listen, please. This will energize and balance the lower triangle. It is very curative for any digestive or sexual ailments. It gives endurance and breaks fevers. It often produces a pleasant sweat and cleansing of the skin. The first few times, the legs may shake or be slightly weak, yet as the muscles build, you will walk with increased grace and certainty. For beginners, we will include rest between most exercises. So we'll begin with Sakriya. Who would have thought we're doing Sakriya in the Satkriya workout series. Satkriya, Kriya means practice, and Sat again means truth. So this is a practice of truth. And we're chanting that mantra, Sat Nam, true identity. And we chant always projecting from the navel and through our heart like this, Sat Nam. That was pretty good. Let's interlace the fingers with the index fingers pointing up. Women are invited to cross the left thumb over the right, men the right thumb over the left. Keep the base, the palms together. Keep the arms stretching, hugging the ears. Let the shoulders and shoulder blades release down the back. Have the chin pulled in, facing forward. Inhale deeply. Just going for a few minutes. No big thing. Exhale completely. And inhale deeply to begin. Sat Nam. Powerfully. Sat Nam. Sat Nam. Sat Nam. Sat Nam. Sat Nam. Sat. Nice. Sat Nam. Sat Nam. Sat 
नाम सत 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 नाम हैफ वे कंटिन्यू प्रेशर एंड रिलीज बीन अ रिलैक्स्ड कंपोज्ड एटीट्यूड गेजिंग एट द थर्ड आई इंटुइटिव इंस्टिंक्टिव यूज ऑफ द नेवल सत सत be true speak truth to the energy in you final minute sat nam sat nam sacred vibrations sat nam sat nice sat nam 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 sat now last little bit loud nice project but listen to each other also sat and yourself sat last few sat nam sat nam sat nam sat now inhale suspend the breath suspend your attention at the brow center and apply the mula bandha toning the perineum no biggie squeeze the base inhale more exhale gently part the fingers sweep the arms through the auric field bring your energy back down home to the body fingertips to the earth grounding breath when you feel stabilized you can have the palms facing up and we're going to move into shavasana but be free to sit and meditate for a little bit Shavasana, corpse pose, please, when you're ready. Good. Engagement and relaxation. Equally important. Relax on the back.
Take a deep breath. Deep, 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 deep breath. And, oof, and exhale, let it go. And now come uh, sitting up. Slowly. And we're going to return to that previous asana. Um, how did it go for you? What is your name? T. Yeah. My name is Lawrence. How was that for you? Oh, OK. Can you adjust like with that cushion? Yeah. OK. Also, you can try to use this one. You want to try this one? It could be helpful. Um, yes. To like place it between the heels and the butt, and then also something between the, between the heels and the floor. Could be helpful too, if you wanna use this. Yeah. Are you guys good up here? I know you guys are familiar with Sakriya. Yvonne, Ruta, are you guys good? Let's get the mic acting up today. So that same directive focus, what we're doing here is stimulating the energy in the lower triangle home of Shakti. And we're just surging up through this, surging up through the spine with the navel force and projecting our voice, opening the body and the spine like that. Fingers are interlaced, index fingers pointing up. Again, women are invited to have the left thumb over the right, men the right thumb over the left, base the palms together, chest open wide, shoulders relax down, and any adjustments you can make to be more comfortable to hold the posture for just a few minutes again. Let's inhale to begin. Sat, nam, sat, nam, sat. Nam Sat 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 Nam Keep up Continue. Make up for my absence. Sat. Very good. You're attuning to truth. True vibration. True frequency, resonance. Clear light. Consciousness. If you feel a lot of pressure, that's a good thing. You can use that. Also, you have the option to interlace the fingers and just keep the hands overhead while still doing the navel work. Nam Sat 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 no. 30 seconds.
Inhaling. Another great big inhale. Exhale. And again, hug the knees into the chest and we'll rock up to come to a seated posture. I'm no longer going to be using the microphone since it's giving us trouble. So for you guys on Zoom, I'm just using the computer mic and I'll just be sure to speak toward the computer and clearly to you guys. Um, So sitting now in Sukhasana, comfortably cross-legged, interlace the fingers and bring the Venus Mudra behind the head, just below the hairline, the pinkies. Part the elbows wide, stretch in the chest. Long, deep breathing, brow point, third eye, focus between you and your heart. Concentrate at the brow point and begin long deep breathing. Just here for a few minutes. You'll notice that the elbows will want to come inwards. See how you can find that natural balance and steady opening without forcing the issue. You can't force the heart to open. You just get in touch with yourself. Center your consciousness, your breath, your energy at your heart. That's fine. The lungs, diaphragm, and abdomen, the mechanisms of breathing are like a muscle. You use that muscle, flex it, stretch it. If you've been coming here for a year or more now, your lungs have expanded since you first started coming here. Maybe you're even beginning to notice that the breath is fuller, more air getting to your system, more prana, more life force for your body. And even within the span of a single class, just through the yoga exercises, you can experience a greater depth of breath than you're used to. Especially in a posture like this, where the chest is stretching open. You're about halfway now. Relax the forehead. Gently gazing at the brow. Can't force the third eye to open either. It's all in the chronic relationship and communication through the spinal system. Base to crime. Shakti to Shiva. Energy to awareness. Coming one at the heart. Stretching open, even fully. Final minute. Tip of the tongue, pressing the roof of the mouth, two eyes focusing at the third. Final few deep breaths, part the elbows wide. Open the chest cavity, open the heart, breathe, open the lungs, open the diaphragm, the ribs, expand the belly, external gravity, belly to spine. Breathing from pole to pole, base to crown, south pole to north pole. Inhale. Suspend the breath. Be cool as a cucumber and tone the perineum, squeezing the spine like a lot of energy. 
not too much that you faint or anything. You can always exhale. Inhale a little more. Exhale, release. Tap the fingers. Hands in beyond mudra and lips, fingers, and thumbs. Arms and spine like a tripod for the heart and the lens before that. Listen to your inner vision beyond words. And experience. Breathing through the channel of the spine, Shushima, Dimasara. Inhale. Exhale. We're going to return to Satkriya. How does that sound? Tia, are you still with us? Mm -hmm. That Satkriya exercise. Did you feel like it was more comfortable the second time? Mm -hmm. okay. um, yeah, we can't fake this. It just Truth is a process. So we're just going to go through this process again. This time for five minutes. How does that sound? Okay. <laughs> Five minutes. Inhale. And exhale. And also, you can just do this in a like a seated cross-legged. You can adjust that weight also. Inhale again. Stretch. Exhale. Lower the shoulders. Grounded at the navel. Chanting. Inhale deeply to begin. Sat. No. Sat. No. Sat, sat, no, 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 sat, no. Sat, no, 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 powerful vibration, keep up, no, continue, sat, gracefully, sat, no, sat, no, sat, no. Sat, no, 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 sat, no. Sat, no, sat, no, sat. The truth inside of you is the most powerful thing you'll ever experience. So be humble, awakening that with your navel power. Compassionate grace of the heart and the freedom of your voice. Sat, no, sat, expression. Sat, no. Sat, Even if you need to rest the hands on top of the head, sat, this keeps the heart open. Sat, and you can still chant and still invoke sat, your navel, no. your will. Sat, no. 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 Sat, Listen. Sat. Halfway. Sat. No. 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 Sat. Patient. Kind. Sat. We're going to make it no matter what. Sat. Go through it gracefully. Sat. 
Sucks. Beautiful. Sucks. 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 Great. Final minutes. Sucks. You're. It's happening, Sucks. and you're making it happen. Sucks. You're wanting to reality Sucks. with your will. Sucks. No. Sucks. No. Sucks. With your truth. No. Sucks. No. Forty-five seconds. Sucks. No. Sucks. No. Sucks. No. Sucks. No. Sucks. No. Sucks. No. Suck. No. Exactly. Suck. Make it happen. No. 30 seconds. Suck. Not even. No. Suck. Loud. No. Suck. Powerfully project. No. Suck. Reverberate. Resonate. No. Suck. Vibrate the walls. No. Suck. No. Suck. No. Suck. No. Nice. Suck. No. Suck. No. Sucks. No. Sucks. No. Inhale. Suspend the breath. It cools the cucumber and apply the heat and pressure at the base. Move the bun. Squeeze the spine like a rod of energy. Electrically conducting. No more. Exhale. Sweep the arms to the aura. Ground fingertips. Ground yourself. And when you're ready, move back to corpse pose. Sympathetic, parasympathetic, balancing. How quickly can you surrender here to your inner peace, your inner truth and power?
deep breath and then let it go. And again, we're going to quickly come up. Definitely, not so quickly, but not to do the full length of series. <laughs> and we're going to get to the part that's more of a workout here. So we're going to be doing frog pose. So T M so you can see. So we're kind of sitting like this, up like a frog, fingertips to the earth, and the toes and balls of the feet also to the earth. And ideally, the heels are touching up off the floor throughout the movement. And the movement is this: facing forward, this is the exhale position. Inhale, straighten the legs. Hip, looking back behind you, exhaling back down, inhaling back up. It's kind of like a squat variation. And making any adjustments for yourself. And then creating the momentum with the breath movement. This is to transform to circulate and transform the energy. But you gotta pump it up, you gotta move and breathe. We won't be here for long. We're already maybe about halfway, so. Faster you move, easier it is. Last little bit. Last two, deep breaths. Inhale, slowly roll up, come to a standing posture, roll the shoulders up, back and down, heart forward, arms and sides, palms forward. Circulate the breath, deep to head, fingertips to heart. So um, this isn't called Sat Kriya workout for nothing. Let's return to our heels or if more comfortable Sukhasana. Get in your bolsters for the butt, for the heels, for the tops of the feet, for the floor. And let's keep this momentum. Interlace the fingers, point the index fingers up, cross one thumb over the other, keep the arms hugging the ears. Piercing now, gazing at the third eye. Inhale deeply to begin. Sat. No. Sat. Continue. No. Sat. No. Sat. No. Sat. It's one minute here. Sat. Make it happen. No. Sat. No. Tuning your instrument, Sat. tuning your spine, no. your energy, your Sat. consciousness to be no. the true Sat. to you. No. Sat. Your inner truth. No. Sat. No. Vibrate. Start. No. Start. No. Start. Steady does it. Start. No. Start. No. Start. No. Start. No. Start. True to the energy of the group. Start. No. Start. No. Start. Individual. Start. Group and universal consciousness communicating. Start. It's one truth. Sat. With many no. variations. Sat. No. Sat. Last little bit. Sat. No. Sat. Navel. No. Sat. No. Sat. No. Sat. No. Sat. No. Sat. No. Good. Inhale. Sat. No. Suspend the breath. Focus the third eye. Squeeze the root line. Energy knows what to do. Let it rise. Inhale more. Exhale, let it fall. Sweep the arms, sweep the aura. And another quick shavasana. No gong this time. Inner 
quiet in a stillness, quickly rest. Great big deep breath, inhale, expand fully. Exhale, contract belly, spine, exhale completely. And another inhale. And again, a quick rise up and get up. And we're going to return to frogs, mighty frogs. Again, just one minute, set yourself up, lift in the chest, chin is in. And if um, it's hard for you to keep the fingers grounded to the earth, and it's not necessary to come all the way up, you can just slightly straighten the legs, but not all the way, hyperextending. Exhaling back down, inhaling up, so down, suck, no. mentally vibrating that mantra. It's a workout, total body workout, transforming energy. Sexual energy, creative energy, be more creative, artistic, higher thought, liberating the subconscious power. About halfway already. Breathe, move. Get a rhythm. Sun. <gasps> Last little bit. That's it. Pump it up. Last few. Inhale. Exhale, slowly roll up. Standing mountain pose. Roll the shoulders up, back and down. Tall, rooted, solid. Arms forward. And we're going to be inhaling. Let it go. The notes return to the earth for the final asana. We'll never guess what it's Sakriya. <laughs> Arms are hugging the ears. Fingers interlaced, <laughs> index finger up. There's a trend here. You are invited if you're free from cannabis and alcohol to have the palms completely pressing. But if you smoked or drank in the past six months, it's recommended not to because uh, this heightens the nervous system cleansing. Food for thought there, but it's perfectly already powerful enough just having the fingers interlaced. And third eye focus. Seated your, in the heart. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. This is the final cycle. Four minutes. Deep belly breath to begin from that 
points. Sat, Sat na. 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 Continue. Sat. Halfway. Find your own voice in unison. Sat na. Sat. Chanting from truth. Sat. True power. Sat. True presence. Sat. Embodiment. Energy. Rooted. Sat. Grounded. Stable. Sat. Na. Sat. Na. Sat. A minute and a half. Sat. Na. Sat. Na. Laser focus. Third eye. Sat. Na. 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 Sat. Final minute. Na. Sat. Lovingly. Lighthearted. Sat. Na. Sat. Na. Sat. Na. Sat. Na. Sat. Na. Sat. Truth is light. Sat. Power. Sat. The light of the world. Sat. Na. Sat. Na. Sat. Na. Sat. Na. Sat. Just is. Be with it. Sat. Final 25 seconds. Sat. Truth is. Sat. Sat. Na. 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 Sat. Inhale. Five mool bun. Exhale. In tune with your own truth, meditate, and then rest in the back.
Resurrect your breath. Going life into your lungs, through the body. Wiggle the fingers and toes. We'll do the full wake up series now. Fingers, toes, wrists and ankles rotate wide circles in both directions. Shake out the hands. Inhale as you stretch the arms up, back, overhead, to the floor behind you. And point the toes to stretch the legs, full body wake up stretch. Inhale, hug the right knee to the chest. Cross it up and over the left leg. And turn to face the right, cat stretch. Keep the shoulders rooted and open. Three breaths here, when you're ready, do the opposite hip, opposite knee, opposite side. Remain present. Come back to center, rub the soles of the feet, and rub the palms of the hands. Waking up the nerve endings, waking up the body. Ground the soles to the earth. Bless the hands over the face. Slowly raise them as you open the eyes to see the creases and the palms. Hug the knees to the chest, rock side to side. And rock around, shoulders, hips, circling, switch directions. And then rock up and down the length of the spine a few times. Face the spine to the base of the neck, the back. And then come rocking upward. Humbly hearted, pressing the palms back where we open to close them. Remembering the prayer of gratitude for all that is, all we have, growing more. And we'll share the long time sunshine song, blessing all parts of ourselves and all our relations, maybe someone, somewhere specific, or a specific part of ourselves. Inhale. So. And from the heart with love, and know the German song. May the long time sun shine upon you. All love surround you. And the pure light within you hide your beyond. May the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you, hide your So no. So Today of making that true within us and in our world. Let's bow our heads in respect. 
for efforts, self gratitude, respect, and love, and for the spirit of this practice. Satnam. Thank you, Ruta. Thank you, Yvonne. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Monica. Yes, we need Satnam, please. Satnam, Yvonne. Great to have you in class. Yeah, that was an intense so workout in more ways than just physical. So take it kindly the rest of the day if you can. Drink some water. That's all I got. And there's tea here if you have time to ground. Next, for the door. Get some of the yoga sets I enjoy. So I'm starting to do those ones. Share those ones. <laughs> 